Brand new updated Easter egg guides uploaded every single week here throughout 2022 for every zombies map throughout zombies history. Subscribe right now to keep up to date with every upload. All of these legends inside of the comment section put moon in the last Easter egg guide. So do make sure you leave which map you would like to see the Easter egg guide to next inside of the comment section in this video. And also leave a like if you haven't done already because I freaking love you. Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome to the 2022 Easter egg guide for the map moon on Black Ops 3 zombies and also Black Ops 1 zombies. The Easter egg is exactly the same in both maps, apart from on Black Ops 3, you are able to complete this solo. In Black Ops 1, you have to do it co-op. And in Black Ops 1, you also have to make sure you've got the Golden Rod and playing as Rick Toffin. You get that Golden Rod from completing Call of the Dead and Shangri-La. But on Black Ops 3, you have it straight off the bat. Step 1, before you do anything and go and make your way over to the moon base, I want to make sure that inside of the Area 51 location that you spawn into, you get 3,750 points, at least. With having those 3,750 points, it's going to allow you to teleport to the moon area, pick up your space mask, place it on, and actually have enough points to make your way all the way over to the power and turn that power on on round one. The reason why we want to do this on round one is because the excavator will excavate at least one time every six rounds. Meaning if you turn the power on round one, you will get that excavator to come down either round one, two, three, four, five, or six. And you do need that for the Easter egg. So once you get that power on, make your way back to the spawn room where in the underground area, you'll find these four computers, which are going to flash the colors red, green, blue, and yellow in that specific order from left to right. They're going to show you which color you need to press and you press that corresponding computer. Then it's going to give you a second combination and a third combination, a fourth combination, fifth combination, and finally a sixth combination, all adding one extra color to the previous one that you've already input. After you've entered the six color combination, the screens will flash green and you will have completed that step. The second step of this Easter egg is going making your way to the laboratories near the pyramid device. Once you get into the labs, there's going to be six locations where a hacker can spawn in. When you walk through the doors originally, it could be on the left hand side. It could also be directly in front of you on this bookshelf and then forward in front of you at the top of the stairs on the right hand side. It could also be on the right hand side of the next set of stairs or you can make your way through the next set of doors to the right of Deadshot Daiquiri or it could be over the other side of the room to the entrance of the biodome. You will need to pick up that hacker and then make your way down to the lower labs where you can now interact with one of these four panels on the wall. It doesn't matter which panel you interact with. It will cost you 500 points though so do make sure you've got 500 points. A fun fact for this step if you do want to make it slightly easier is that Speed Cola does speed up this step so if you are doing a speed run it could allow you to save a little bit of time. Once you've interacted with that panel on the wall, there's going to be four yellow lights that come on inside of the laboratories. There's eight lights in total, but like I said, only four of them are going to come on and they are different every single game. So go and find which four yellow lights you've got and interact with each one with the hacking device. Hold down your interact button until the yellow light turns off and you have completed that step. After all four have now been turned off, make your way back to the panels and interact with every single panel quickly without the hacker out. This will now allow all lights to open up and that has finished step two. So the next thing you really want to do is go and hit the mystery box. You need to make sure you've got the wave gun for this Easter egg and also to begin the Easter egg you also have to have Gersh devices. There's no side quest to get these so you've just got to be lucky. Once you've got Gersh devices you can make your way down to the Area 51 location via using the teleporter near the mule kick location. After you teleport back to Area 51 you want to use an explosive weapon or a grenade to blow off these panels off the wall behind the teleporter. Once they are now on the ground throw a Gersh device over to them and the Gersh device will suck them up and teleport them onto the teleporter. And once you're on the teleporter, you are now allowed to teleport back with them. At this point, you also want to make sure you've either got or you keep hitting the mystery box for the wave gun, and also make sure you are now hitting the mystery box to replace your Gersh devices with QEDs. And once you do get those QEDs, you can now throw them on the panels that have teleported back with you that are on the floor next to Quick Revive. And they'll teleport over to the computer over at the opposite end of this room. You can now actually upgrade the golden rod with that computer, but you've got to make sure that you have the wire that was inside of the labs that you were in before. There's eight locations where this wire can spawn in and they are as follows. In the double tap room over this part of the room right here, on the far left panel that you would have interacted with before, it could be right there on the ground. It can also be on the right hand side next to this table before you go up the stairs. It can also be directly at the top of the stairs on the floor. It can also be directly in front of those doors on this table right here. It could also be on the floor next to Deadshot Daiquiri on the right hand side. It could also be where the hacker location is near the biodome door entrances or the final location is outside in the mule kick area of the map right here next to this barrel. Now that you've got the wire, make your way back to the computer and place down the wire where the panels have now teleported to. Also placing your golden rod in between the panels. You can now interact with this computer and have a conversation with Dr. Maxis. Just keep on interacting with that computer, making sure you kill all the zombies that try and get you and keep on interacting with this computer. It's going to take around one and a half to two minutes to finish this thing and then once it's finished, the golden rod will light up and you can pick it up so it goes back inside of your invent. At this 
this point, I hope that you have now got Excavator Pi Tunnel 6 excavating, which is this excavator right here. If it has not yet done this, keep on flipping rounds. Like I mentioned before, as long as you turn the power on in round one, you will have had an excavator go down before round six. So you will need Excavator Pi for this Easter egg, which is the Tunnel 6 excavator. There are ways to incentivize this. People say this is completely random, but considering I'm probably the person that's played this Easter egg the most on the entire planet, I can tell you there are ways that I use to try and manipulate the game to actually activate in this early. On Black Ops 1, the incentivization is to not pass power. As long as you don't pass power on Black Ops 1, it tends to not do the biodome, which increases your chances of either having Tunnel 6 or Tunnel 11 breach instead of the biodome. So just make sure you don't go past power. That's normally what I do on Black Ops 1. That trick does also work in Black Ops 3, but just not as much, but it definitely does work somewhat. Something that I feel is probably about 80% success rate is making sure that you've got the wave guns from the box before it excavates. If you've got the wave guns out, the game seems to just want to push Tunnel 6. Another couple of things that I do, which once again, I really can't explain why it works, but it works for me a bunch, so you should try it as well, is I think that I kind of manipulate the game code while I'm playing, like the data in the actual game itself to actually start that excavator. And that is why I've got a long range weapon such as the sniper rifle, and I'll shoot the Tunnel 6 excavator in between round flips. And I don't know whether it's just because there's a projectile over near it at the time that the game's data kind of thinks, oh, we'll set this off now. But that's just something else that I tend to do. And the other thing is if I've got wave guns to increase my chance even more, I'll stand directly in this doorway at Tunnel 6, and it tends to give me Tunnel 6 almost every time. If any of these things work for you, please spam it inside the comment section and prove people that I'm correct, because some people just think I'm mental. But maybe I am. Maybe I've played this too many times. I don't know. But anyway, that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for Tunnel 6 to go down. After Tunnel 6 is breached, you want to make sure you've got the hacker and get back to the spawn room where you can now interact with this terminal right here to raise Tunnel 6 up. After Tunnel 6 is up, you can now go over to where Tunnel 6 has been breached and you'll find a ball there. Shoot the ball and it will move around. Shoot it again and it'll keep on moving. Shoot it again and it will keep on moving and you have to also help it get through doors. And then finally, the ball will now get stuck on the satellite on top of the spawn room. This is where you need the wave guns. Use the wave gun to shoot it down. It will bounce over to tunnel 11. Open up tunnel 11 and once again, keep on shooting it whenever it gets stuck and keep on doing that until it makes its way down to the pyramid device. Once it's at the pyramid device, a tube will come up, which means that you now need to get 25 zombie kills. After the 25 zombie kills near that tube, you'll be able to flip this switch to the left hand side, revealing some the maxes inside of the pyramid device. She will now reward you with a 90 second death machine. And if your golden rod is fully upgraded, like we just showed you how to do before, four extra tubes will now come up from the pyramid device, where you now need to fill each one with once again, 25 zombie souls. Keep that death machine out and try and kill a load of zombies with it. It will help you fill up this pretty darn quickly. After you filled up the entire pyramid device with 25 souls on each of the canisters, you'll be able to then go up to the middle of the pyramid device and interact with it. You'll then see all the soul tubes drain and you'll switch souls with Samantha Man. Axis. Once the electricity on the ball has flashed in the middle of the pyramid, you can now throw a QED at that ball. The ball will then teleport over to the spawn location, and now you need to make sure that you can get Gersh devices. So hit the mystery box and switch your QEDs out for Gersh's. Make your way back to the spawn location, and now you've got the exact same step as you originally did on the computers, but once again. You're going to have to do this three times in a row. The first combination will be six colors, the second combination will be seven colors, and finally the third combination will be eight colors. You're just playing again game of Simon Says, once again, like I said, same as step one. You can now throw a Gersh device down at this ball right here, which will then teleport the ball and start the launch sequence of the rockets. And anyone that's watching right now saying, Pete, you got it wrong. You have to throw the Gersh device before you do the computers. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can do it either way. And then the rockets will go up, blow up the earth, and that's it. You've completed the moon Easter egg on Black Ops 3 and also Black Ops 1. But there you go. Leave a like if you haven't done already. Subscribe if you are brand new. I freaking love you and have an amazing day. Peace out.